Hello, my name's Aviva and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass and how I recommend reading it. In my opinion, there are three different ways you can read the Throne of Glass series. So in this video, I'm going to run you through all three and explain why you can choose to read them in one way or the other. And this video is great for people who have never read the Throne of Glass series and is curious on the different orders you can read them in, or it's for people who are choosing to reread the series and maybe want to switch it up a bit and wasn't aware that they're are multiple ways you can order this series. And in short, this story follows a girl assassin. There is eight books in this series, so I can't even begin to explain what this story is about without giving anything away. But this is a high fantasy world that is going to have political intrigue, wars, a ton, a ton of amazing characters. You're also gonna have magical elements, fae, immortal beings, and everything that you're really asking for from a fantasy world. Plus, Sarah J Mass is very well known for her romance in her fantasy series. This has some amazing romances in it, from side characters to main characters. You won't be disappointed in the romance department. Plus, there is so much action and adventure that goes on in these books that it is just a fantasy, action-packed, romance-packed, book that I 100% recommend reading. So the first way I'm going to recommend reading this series is in chronological order, which also happens to be publication order. Sarah J Mass wrote and published this story in chronological order, and therefore it is an extremely popular and valid way to read this entire series. So that order starts with the Assassin's Blade. And this is technically a prequel to the entire Throne of Glass series. This is a collection of short stories following the main character, Selena, through some adventures that she went on before the beginning of Throne of Glass. This also slowly leads up to how she ended up where she is in the beginning of the Throne of Glass series. So this is a very important book to read to understand the entire Throne of Glass series as a whole, as well as how Selena became who she is as a person. And everything that happens in this book is later talked about and mentioned throughout the entire Throne of Glass series. So it's very important that you read this book so that you later understand all the references when they're mentioned. So the next book to read would be the actual first book to the series, which is called Throne of Glass. And in this book, you're following Selena, and she comes to the King's Palace to fight to become his champion. And if she wins, she's going to be his personal assassin. And the story kind of goes from there. I don't want to give away any spoilers as to what this story, this book, this whole series is about. So all I'm going to say is that, and then we're just going to continue on with the rest of the order and why it could be that way. So the next book to read would be Crown of Midnight, then Hair of Fire, then Queen of Shadows, and then according to publication order, you would then pick up Empire of Storms, and then Tower of Dawn. But I wanted to pause here and tell you about these two books because this is the second way you can read this series. Basically, these two books happen at the exact same time in different parts of the kingdom. In Empire of Storms, you're following all of the main characters throughout their story. But in Tower of Dawn, you're following Kaol, which you'll meet in the first book, and it's his story where he goes to another kingdom and does something things I won't talk about for spoiler reasons. And because these two books take place at the exact same time, you won't get spoiled for either one by reading them in whatever order you want. So even though Empire of Storms was technically published first, I would recommend reading Tower of Dawn first because Empire of Storms has a very big cliffhanger that I'm assuming will very much bother you after being so invested in this series by having read six of the books already. And you're not gonna wanna sit through this very large book, which is just the side story of Kaol, just to figure out what happens in the finale book. And while it's very important to read this story so you could understand what happens in the finale, I would personally read this book first so that you can thoroughly enjoy this side story of Kaol without feeling the need of rushing through it to get to the last book. So read Tower of Dawn first and then read Empire of Storm and then you can get to the finale book which is Kingdom of Ash. 
And the third way I recommend reading this series is to first start off with Throne of Glass, then read Crown of Midnight and Tear of Fire. Then I would pause and read the Assassin's Blade right here. And my reasoning for putting the prequel to the entire Throne of Glass series smack in the middle of two books is because the things that happen in the Assassin's Blade will be directly talked about in the next book, Queen of Shadows. So by reading the Assassin's Blade right here, you get it all very fresh in your memory. And then when it's all talked about in Queen of Shadows, you'll have a bigger connection to all of the stories and everything that's going on. Plus, everything that happens in the first three books can technically be read without knowing what goes on in the Assassin's Blade. While yes, there are a few small mentions of things that happened in Selena's past, it doesn't necessarily reference the Assassin's Blade. And even though the things that she mentions is stuff that happened in the Assassin's Blade, you can 100% understand everything that's going on without having read this book first. Plus, Hair of Fire doesn't end off on a cliffhanger. So by pausing after Hair of Fire and reading The Assassin's Blade, you first won't feel like, oh, I'm just pushing a book in between two stories and I want to get to another thing. It's very easy to pause by Hair of Fire and then read this and then jump into Queen of Shadows. Also, Hair of Fire kind of concludes some things that you were questioning about Selena as a person. So by after figuring out who Selena is and what she's about, you could then pause and jump back into her past and see a little bit more about her and how she became who she was. And then you jump into Queen of Shadows and you're basically catapulted into the rest of this series and it starts going in another direction, things start really happening, plus everything that happened in the Assassin's Blade is then going to be talked about in Queen of Shadows, so you will have gotten to read it back to back and it will all be fresh in your mind and it will make Queen of Shadows a much more enjoyable experience. So after you read The Assassin's Blade, I would then pick up Queen of Shadows. And then, like I spoke about before, you can either pick up Tower of Dawn or Empire of Storms, but I'm going to recommend reading Tower of Dawn first, then Empire of Storms, and then Kingdom of Ash. So in conclusion, the three ways you can read this series is either in publication order, which would be The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Hair of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and then Kingdom of Ash. Or you can still read it in chronological order, but out of publication order and read The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Hair of Fire, Queen of Shadows, then Tower of Dawn, then Empire of Storms, and then Kingdom of Ash. Or you could read them in the way that I personally read them when I read this series for the first time, which would be to first read Throne of Glass, then Crown of Midnight, then Hair of Fire, then The Assassin's Blade, then Queen of Shadows, then Tower of Dawn, then Empire of Storms, and Kingdom of Ash. And whichever way you choose to read this series is in no way the right or wrong way to read this. I just wanted to give you guys three options on how you could read this series without getting spoiled and still reading it in order. So I'm curious to know if you've read this series before and what you think about the orders that I've recommended, or if you haven't read this series before and what order you're going to choose to read it in. And I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you can see the next time I post a video. And in the meantime, enjoy reading.